town of Alafria rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke the folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip, for the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip, a big iron on his feet. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. He came riding from the south side, slowly looking all around. He's an outlaw that's been running, came a whisper from each lip. And he's here to do some business with the big iron on his head. The big iron on his head. In this town there lived an outlaw by the name of Texas Red. Many men had tried to take him, and that many men were dead. He was vicious and a killer, but a lot of four, and the notches on his pistol numbered one and nineteen more, one and nineteen more. Then the stranger started talking, made it clear to folks around. He was an Arizona Ranger, wouldn't be too long in town. He came here to take an outlaw, back alive or maybe dead. And he said it didn't matter, he was after Texas Red, after Texas Red. There was forty feet between them when they stopped to make their play. And the swiftness of the ranger is still talked about today. Texas red and not feared leather when a bullet fairly ripped. And the ranger's aim was deadly with a big iron on his hip. A big iron on his hip. It was over in a moment and the folks they gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. He might have gone on living, but he made one fatal slip when he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. The big iron on his head. Be gone. Be gone. Try to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. The big iron on his head. Yippee I -E. Yippee I O. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his head. The big iron on his head. The big iron on his head. Big iron on his feet.